Good evening, welcome to ITV News. This is Monday night's calendar. Ah, these are this evening's main stories. First, a pig farmer from North Nottinghamshire says he may have to start killing his own animals due to a shortage of butchers. Des Allen says a lack of staff at abattoirs means he has a backlog of unsold pigs on his farm near Newark. Now, it's a situation affecting the whole country, with farmers from across the region protesting today at the Conservative Party conference. The industry says unless more foreign workers are brought in, thousands of pigs could be dumped or incinerated. Phil Brewster has this report. OK, so as you've already seen in that piece with the protests, the Conservative Party conference is underway in Manchester and among the MPs attending will be a number who took seats in what was traditionally called the Red Wall of long-held Labour constituencies in the North. One of the Prime Minister's challenges two years after that general election is holding on to those seats. We'll be going live to our political correspondent Harry Horton in Manchester very shortly. But first, Sam Casey has been to one of those former Labour strongholds, Hatfield in the Don Valley, to find out what people are thinking of the job that the PM has actually done so far. Well, let's go to Manchester now, where the Conservative Conference has been hearing not only from North Yorkshire MP and Chancellor Rishi Sunak, but from Michael Gove, the Secretary for State, for levelling up. Well, our political correspondent Harry Horton is live at the conference for... Breaking news, either the rain stopped or somebody's pinched his brolly. <laughs> I'm not quite sure which one happened there. Probably do, both. Do stay with us still to come on. The yes, the Black British Voices Project is the first study of its kind and it's hoped it will build understanding. Amrit birdie has been speaking to some of the key figures involved, including a campaigner from South Yorkshire. A little early today I spoke to Lester Holloway, editor of The Voice newspaper. That's the only British national black newspaper in the United Kingdom. Lester's also involved in the Black British Voices project. I asked him why he thinks it's so important to collate the experiences of black Britons in an academic project like this. Expect to find. Well, obviously collecting the data is one thing, but how can you use it to bring about meaningful change? Thank you, Mary, for here on Calendar. It's now time for the sport. And first up are some of Rugby League's finest who were all at sea today, or at least all at a canal, as they took on another challenge to support their old teammate, Rob Burrow. They're canoeing 100 miles over four days to deliver the match ball for the Super League Grand Final and raise money for the Motor Neurone Disease Association. And to football now and relief all round at the MKM Stadium on Saturday as Hull City picked up their first win since the opening day of the season. With that and the rest of the weekend action, here is Chris Dawkes. Golf, you know, Sheffield golfer Danny Willett celebrated his 34th birthday in style by winning his first European Tour title in two years. And finally, I've been waiting for this one. After 18 months of lockdowns and loss, a family in Lincolnshire say they might have found the answer to improving our mental health. Alpacas. That's right. Therapy walks with the South American grazing animals are causing people to flock to blue sky alpacas near Mablethorpe. They've been taking the four-legged friends into care homes and inviting visitors to their farm for a sense of calm. We sent Jonathan Brown for a bit of fur therapy. It's our kind of pace, that, isn't it? Nice yeah, little leisurely amble. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, gorgeous. We, yeah, we alpacaed it all in tonight, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> we certainly did. Later Here's Joe Bly. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, Joe. That's it from us. Our next update, 10.45 tonight. The national and international stories are next with Mary Nightingale. But for now, from the team at Calendar, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow night at 6. See you then. Bye.